Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the mesh analysis by solving the problem by mesh analysis using matrix method. Mesh analysis using the matrix method. So the problem is find the loop current for the circuit given below. For this circuit we need to find the loop current using matrix method. The same problem solved by equation method. The link is available in the description box, the viewers can see the by click the link you can see the video the same problem solved by equation method the separate video available the link is available in the description box you can go through that you can see the video by clicking the link you can see the video so in this video we will solve the problem with matrix method so in this circuit diagram this 10 voltage source is available one side 25 voltage source available on other side there are 5 resistors available 10 ohm, 25 ohm, 5 ohm, 15 ohm and 20 ohm. So by seeing the diagram we can easily identify this is the loop 1. We can consider this is the loop 1. Loop is nothing but closed path. This is one closed path. Loop 1. The current flowing through the closed path is I1. Loop 1 is I1. In clockwise direction the current is flowing in clockwise direction. This is another loop, loop 2. We can consider this is the second loop, loop 2. That is 25 ohm, 25 voltage, 15 ohm, 25 ohm and 20 ohm. These four are considered as the second loop, loop 2. The current flowing through the second loop is I2. That also flowing in a clockwise direction. Right? So we have two loops available, loop 1 and loop 2. Current flowing through loop 1 is I1, current flowing through loop 2 is I2, both are clockwise direction. Now we can frame the matrix. What matrix we are framing? V equal to IR. This is a voltage matrix, current matrix, resistance matrix. Because we are we are applying the Kirchhoff's voltage law. We are going to apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law so that we, we follow the matrix V equal to I into R. What is resistance matrix R11, R12, minus R12, minus R21 and R22. Two currents I1, I2, two voltage V1 and V2. The explanation of mesh analysis is also available in separate video. Link is available in the description box. The viewers can see that. We can view the video. The link is available. So what is R11? R11 is nothing but the resistance of this first loop, the total resistance of loop 1. In loop 1, what are the resistors available? 10 ohm, 25 ohm and 5 ohm. So sum of these three is nothing but R11. Loop 1. R11 is nothing but sum of resistors in loop 1. So 25, so 10 plus 25 plus 5. 10 plus 25 plus 5. Sum of resistors available in the first loop. What is R12? R12 is the resistor available between loop 1 and loop 2. Which resistor is connected between loop 1 and 2? This 25 ohm. This 25 ohm is available in loop 1 as well as loop 2. Commonly available between loop 1 and 2. So R12 is nothing but the resistor commonly connected between loop 1 and loop 2. That is minus 25. R21 also same, connected between second and first loop, second and first loop, the same, 25 ohm is connected between second and first loop, minus 25. Then R22, what is R22? The resistors, the sum of resistors connected in the second loop, the second loop, this is 15 ohm plus 25 ohm plus 20 ohm, 15 plus 25 plus 20. Right, so R11 is resistors available in the first loop. R22 is the resistors available in second loop. R12 or 21 means resistor available commonly available between loop 1 and loop 2. That is nothing but this 25 ohm. Now frame the resistance matrix. What is the current I1 and I2? That only we need to find. I1 and I2. What is the voltage? 10 voltage. In loop 1 we have 10 voltage. See the current direction, it is flowing in anti-clockwise, clockwise direction. So 
so here it is going from down to up from negative potential to positive potential so potential rise right see the current direction so current is flowing like this here it is going upward direction the current is flowing in a upward direction is flowing like this so that it is from negative to positive so we can take plus 10 but see here the current is flowing from up to down that is from positive to negative so it is a, a drop of potential so we take minus 25 so this is very important right so that see the current direction easily you can see the current direction the current is down downwards downwards mean positive potential to negative potential potential reduced here so minus 25 but see the current here it is upward from negative to positive so rise of potential to right? take 10 right so this is very important based on the current direction we can we can identify whether it is rise of potential or fall or potential now we can simplify this matrix so 10 plus 25 plus 5 that is 10 plus 25 35 30 plus 5 40 so this minus 25 this diagonal matrix are always other than diagonal all matrix are negative then that is also available in the separate video mesh analysis explanation so 15 plus 25 40 40 plus 20 60 i1 i2 10 minus 25 now why will we find this i1 and i2 that is by finding the del value del del 1 del 2 right now takes this is the del del value by replacing the first column with voltage matrix we will get del 1 by replacing the second column with voltage we will get del 2 now we will see this one by one so that you are able to understand right so this is the resistant matrix that is nothing but del now we need to find the determinant how will you find determinant 40 into 60 minus 25 minus 25 into minus 25 because this two cross through matrix the determinant is very easy that is nothing but multiplication of these two minus multiplication of these two right so this is very simple 40 into 60 minus minus 25 into minus 25 so these two minus become positive but already here one negative is there so it is minus only so 40 plus 60 is 2400 25 into 25 is 625 so 2400 minus 625 1775 is delta value then how will you find delta 1 you have to replace this first column with this voltage matrix so this is replaced by voltage matrix 10 minus 25 second column as it is minus 25 60 right the replacing the first column with voltage matrix will give delta 1 so 10 into 60 minus minus 25 into minus 25 so 10 into 60 minus minus 25 into minus 25 10 into 60 is 600 so this negative these two negative become positive but here one negative is there minus 25 so 600 minus 625 is minus 25 now we got the value of del and del 1 now we'll go to find delta 2 so the delta 2 the first column is as it is second column replaced by the voltage matrix 10 minus 25 now finally find the determinant 40 into 25 40 into 25 minus 10 into minus 25 the determinant is very simple you have to multiply these two minus multiply these two so 40 into minus 25 minus 10 into minus 25 so 40 into 25 is minus 1000 because negative is there here two negatives are available so it become positive plus 250 so minus 1000 plus 250 is minus 750 now we got the delta 2 value also so from del del 1 and delta 2 we can find i1 and i2 i1 is nothing but delta 1 by delta minus 25 divided by 1775 that have we already calculated delta 1 and del so it is minus 0.01 amperes 25 divided by this 1770 will give minus 0.1 minus 0 0.01 amperes similarly i2 equal to del 2 divided by del 
minus 750 divided by 1775 that is minus 0.42 amperes right so from this del value we calculated i1 and i2 so by using the matrix method mess analysis we calculated the loop current i1 and i2 the same problem solved in equation method also that video link is available in the description box the viewers can go through that video so the mess analysis done by both equation method as well as matrix method thank you